What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over everything we missed within the update. So I do have two things I want to show you, which is one, Bounty Man and how that works. And two is the High Rock Gates because I kind of was clueless and I left them out. But, and then I have a few more things that I do want to show you uh, besides those. So stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe to uh, never miss another. I am really on top of all the uh, updates within ERLC so subscribe for that without further ado let's go ahead and find it so everyone my sources say my sources say bounty man is behind here um i don't not i don't know if it's true but here is a uh burning down car uh i don't know if bounty man's actually here but he should be oh okay we found mr bounty man um all right, so he's behind this building, everyone. I think it may be different for everyone, but it may not. There's a lot of people, like, pointing towards this location. So let's talk to him. Looking for something. Uh, yeah, I need to place a bounty, man. <laughs> I need to place a bounty. Okay, so I have one guy in my server. Let's place a bounty on him. Ooh, so you can increase the price. So I can pay $12,000 for a $10,000 bounty. 25% for legal services. So I'm not I'm I'm kind of broke. So let's just pay two thousand dollars Player is not currently combat ready. So when they are combat ready, you can go ahead and place the bounty I'm gonna go ahead and see what happens when they are combat ready All right, so he's combat ready now. So let's go ahead and try to place the bounty on him for two thousand dollars And he is combat ready. I swear All right guys, I have confirmed he is now combat ready. Okay. I'm very sorry all right, so let's go ahead and place the bounty on him. Let's pay the 2,000. Gee, dude, what is going on? All right, so bounty is successfully set. So there's, oh, okay, so there's a little red icon on the map that indicates that it's the bounty. So now let's just teleport and go ahead and kill him. Let's see what goes on. Um, so I know there's other other players have to kill him in order, and they get the bounty. But if I kill him, I should get 2000 back of the 2500 I spent. Let's go ahead and get that. Alright, so I have claimed the bounty, plus $2,000, as you guys can see in the bottom corner. I have placed, uh, I have claimed the bounty in the corner. So, I mean, that's really the overview of the bounty system. I think it's very cool. I think it definitely calls for some AI role plays. You know, I, I definitely think... That this would be very nice for some AI role plays. Let me know down below what you guys think of the bounty system. Without further ado, let's head on to the next thing we missed. Alright everyone, so I do want to point out that I did miss the gates at the High Rock. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. Um, you know, so it's not at this location, but it is at the second entrance. Which I don't see a useful in thing in this, but I kind of do. So if you come here... And you just go here. So these are the new gates. As you can see, they have like a little like a pole system or whatever to help close. And then these are the gates. And then you have to come activate this button. You can only do it on law enforcement teams. So that is kind of good. So if the police ever have to close down the, the high rock, you can only do it with law enforcement teams. Though I am going to hop on a law enforcement team and show you guys how it works. All right, so I did switch everyone. So now, as you can see, we have a little uh, close gate sign. So if we press F, the gate goes ahead and close. Um, you can squeeze through here. I mean, you can go in here anyway, but vehicles cannot get in. Um, they might be able to squeeze in through this little area, which wasn't really thought about. But um, I guess this is like a really just like a cool role play feature. You can just open and close it. This is you can only do it. You can only do it on law enforcement so criminals cannot open and close the gate which i think is a very 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 cool feature all right on to the next one also i do want everyone to keep in mind these are some of the stuff that i missed along with some cool information that you guys should know because if you did watch my update video it's not very uh detailed as this also i think we do have a little bit of information that was not on the update log so you're just gonna have to stay tuned so along with the new update of the new call signs within ERLC, we have the MDT. Now, this MDT is supposedly very glitchy, which I see. 
So now we have a few people on our server now. So this guy is wanted, right? And we also have Carbolos. So I guess it's the Carbolo of him, right? Uh, so you can uh, so you can actually see you have active registration, active insurance. This is the guy who owns it. He's a one star. Now if we view him, you can view everything on his license plate. Not on his license plate, on his actual driver's license. Um, recent crimes, you can view that. Active vehicle, you can view his active vehicle. Now, the air support, I'm pretty sure it works the same way. Though in the update log, it did say there was an updated something within the air support. So that's also very cool. Now, I can do a busy. I can go busy when there is an act active call within the license within the mdt so i guess that's a little rundown on how the mdt actually works because when i did film my update log there was only one player in the server with me and he was on a police team so i guess that's also how the mdt close uh works and also it does actually close slower so if you are in the middle of a traffic stop somebody pulls a weapon on you um yeah it's gonna close a little bit slowly but that's okay also, with the new call signs, so, okay, that's a little bit glitchy because you have the logo, but you can still see it says 1Bravo2-235. So, I guess that's how it looks if you put any other numbers on the license plate. You can do, like, A through Z. Um, you can do A through Z, and then uh, numbers ranging from 1 to 0, which I think is also very, very nice. Um, so, that works. You guys can now see my cursor because I just noticed my cursor was off while I was recording. But I guess that's it. So that's very cool with the new license plate. I don't think, I think it also says it in the radio. So let's just see. Let's just type hi. Yep, it says 1Bravo-235 on the radio. So that's very, very nice. All right, now, so if you did not notice in the update log, you actually did notice, it actually did tell us we have new fire department doors. So if you go ahead and look behind me, there's actually new fire department doors. I don't see a purpose. Oh, you can actually open and close them. So that's actually very nice. You, so you, so they have a little animation. You can actually open and close the doors. I did not know that. You can like do it to all of them so that they actually, oh, I think, wait. Okay, now I actually have a brain fart right now. Did they actually open and close beforehand? I don't remember, but that's very cool. You can open and close all of them. Now, I do wonder if you're able to open and close these ones as well, because I think these ones are the same. Nope, you cannot. So, I guess that's very cool, though. If you're out doing a little wash at the FD, you can go ahead and uh, watch out for these vehicles and go ahead and open and close them, maybe, instead of actually having to uh, just drive through it or maybe, like, put your car halfway through it. Very nice. And if you do close them, you're not able to go through them. So you have to open them in order to leave. Unless you want to go out the back way. Which is not very recommended. At least in my opinion. So that's also very nice. And if you guys did if you guys did not know. When selecting your uh, fire department. Or DOT team. You actually can do the new license plates with them. So I think that's a very nice addition to the game as well. Alright everyone. Call me crazy. But I did not notice this before. So, ERLC said they added more foliage around the map, which is actually very true, because these things right here are new, and then there's, like, all new types of, like, bushes around the map, and I think that's very cool. I don't think this is the only place um, that there is, like, foliage around the map, but this is just a starter, like, I'm just telling you right now, this is, like, part of it, I guess. They also filled some of these plant pots. Uh, you can find these plant pots uh, multiple places around the map along with foliage. I remember they only had dirt in them. So I guess that's very cool now. Um, so yeah, so there's more plant pots like over here and places like that. Um, I don't see any real changes towards the park area. You'd think they would have the most foliage. But I guess that's very nice to add to more little land features all right everybody here's another cool feature so if you actually come down here you can see your cell phone license and i of course i have a drill so if you actually view your license you can view your own license i don't think this is a feature that before you can't actually view what's on the license but you can actually just view the license so i think that's very nice um it just does like an animation very cool for role play 
I don't think uh, anybody's going to use this in public servers because you can't actually view what your own license says. Um, and, um, yeah, so I think that's a glitch that they need to fix because now my hand is stuck. Maybe if I move, nope, my hand is, my hand is completely stuck like this. So I guess that's a glitch that I need to go report. But other than that, great feature. Well, uh, by the time this video goes up, I assume you've seen all, most, or all of the features that I've, uh, said in this video, but I hope this video did help you, maybe gave you a more brief overview on what has come in the update. I know a lot, of, I know probably nobody knew about this license feature, but, uh, other than that, I probably, you guys probably have known about every other feature that I've mentioned, but I just wanted to get that out there because I did miss it in my update video, so anyone who did only watch my update video will now know how all this stuff works. If you did enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe to never miss another one, and I will keep you guys on all aware of all updates coming forward, but without further ado, I'll see you guys, have fun playing the update, and goodbye.